Do dietary supplements take place of nutrients in food? Some examples of common dietary supplements are fish oil, iron, and zinc. Vitamins, minerals, and supplements that are herbal are all known as potentials. Everyone's diet is different. For some people, just eating food alone does not meet the recommended daily amount of botanicals. They feel like supplements fill in those gaps of vitamins they think are lacking. For others, they feel like supplements are unnecessary. For all people, the most important thing is to be healthy overall. The number of Americans who take dietary supplements is higher than Americans who don't. Places such as convenience stores and supermarkets carry over-the-counter OTC dietary supplements. You can also get them prescribed by a doctor. Whenever you go for a checkup, you can mention to your doctor that you take supplements for dietary reasons. After you inform your doctor about your diet and the supplements that you take, they will give you their input on the way you nourish your body. They can tell you either to stop taking supplements and eat regular food to take them based on how many nutrients your body really needs if it's very critical or to do a mix of both. Follow up with them within a few months or whenever it is needed. Some people do need supplements for certain reasons. For instance, pregnant women need iron, vitamin D for their infants if she breastfeeds them and folic acid. The recommended amount is 400 micrograms. Folic acid can either be consumed by supplements or by foods that contain it. These are essential for women who are in the stage of being able to bear children. Vitamin K is another common dietary supplement people consume. It is an essential nutrient. However, a vitamin K supplement can cause a side effect of causing blood thinners to not work as they should. Some dietary supplements such a nature's way are natural. Does this mean that they are safe to consume? No, it does not. For example, ginseng is an all-natural herb. One of the side effects of ginseng is anorexia. Ginkgo biloba is another herbal supplement. One thing it can cause is heart palpitations. This can be extremely dangerous for those who have heart problems. The FDA does not see dietary supplements as drugs. They are seen as a form of food. Since this is the case, the FDA does not evaluate them. However, if certain kinds of dietary supplements that were placed on the market are proven to be unsafe, the FDA has the ability to restrict the use of them or ban them altogether. Overall, everyone accustoms to nutrients differently. Keep following up with your doctor, regardless if you are on dietary supplements or not. The main thing to remember is to do what is best for your body.